last time, we looked into the first ever successful electricity meters in history and the leading inventors and innovators that drove progress in the new world of electric power. Whilst the pendulum meter represented a big step forward in measuring energy use, it would pale in comparison to the versatility and accuracy to come. Using a motor to build a meter. It makes perfect sense. The driving torque from a motor, when balanced by a braking torque, can be balanced in proportion to the load, giving an even higher degree of consistent accuracy. The American Elihu Thompson developed his recording watt meter in 1889 for General Electric. It was an ironless motor, with the rotor excited by the voltage through a coil and a resistor using a commutator. The meter was used mainly for DC, although AC applications were also feasible. It had one major disadvantage though, the commutator, which was a central but fast aging component. In the early years of electricity distribution, it was not yet clear if direct current systems or alternating current systems would be best for grid safety. However, an important disadvantage of direct current systems soon became apparent. The voltage could not be changed, and therefore it was not possible to build larger distribution systems. In 1884, the French Lucien Goulart and the English John Dixon Gibbs invented the secondary generator, the precursor of the modern transformer. A practical transformer was developed and patented for guns in 1885 by three Hungarian engineers, Karoli Zabonovsky, Artutitut Splathi and Mixer Derry. In the same year, Westinghouse bought the patent of Goulart and Gibson, and William Stanley perfected the design. George Westinghouse also bought the AC patents of Nikola Tesla. With this, the AC electricity system became feasible, and from the beginning of the 20th century, it gradually took over from DC systems. In metering, a new problem had to be solved, the measurement of AC electrical energy. Join us for our next episode, where we'll be looking back to technology that would shape the future of the electric grid as we've known it, and look towards the grid of the future. See you then.